Welcome! In this tutorial we're going to check and to show the different elements and the different things you can do with the package called the sandbox for uh, VR or the VR sandbox interaction pack for Unity. Let's go ahead and explain the different features you will have when you hit play. So uh, what you can do is move your head as in the VR scene as you can see here and uh, if you go to the top you will see a menu. In the menu you have different options. The one that is going to interest us the most is the one in the middle that is going to allow us to create different game objects. In the case of the cube we'll see how the cube is spawned in, uh, in front of us. If we click again on the cube, we'll see that we have different options with these interactable buttons. We're going to explain them one by one. The first one is the rotation. The rotation allows uh, the user to rotate the game object by looking at a certain angle uh, regarding the position of the player and regarding the position of the object. Once you have finished, you, you can hit uh, again the trigger of your glasses and you will have the position fixed for your, your game object. The second option is translation. So you can translate the game object by looking at the point where you want to put it. I'm going to put it right here. The next thing you can do is moving your scene by pressing the w, um, w key and you can move around the scene and it's going to simulate the uh, movement of the player that is achieved by an, a script that is called the walking pedometer that is included in the, in the package and allows the user to move in a real space by simulating the movement of the feet. You can also jump by pressing Q and uh, let's go ahead and explain the other features. The third one is the scale. The scale uses, as you can see, um, like uh, an auxiliary axis that allows the user to change the scale of the game object while the user looks at it, as you can see. So for example, you can change the scale in the z-axis, you can change the scale on the y-axis, and you can change the scale in the x-axis. If you do it right, you will be able also to interact with the object and go up and, and jump it. The next thing we can do is activate or deactivate the gravity. So for example, if we add another object on top of that one, there's going to be a cylinder now, as you can see here we see that it's on top of the other one. But if we deactivate the gravity and we select the one in the button and we move it, the object is going to stay still uh, at the fixed position without the effect of the gravity. And if we hit our gravity on and we close the object, the gravity will activate again. So that's the main idea of the gravity button. The next thing we can do is change the color. So to change the color, uh, we have a color picker here that allows you to uh, change the different um, HSV values of the, of the color. And you can close it and the color will remain. You can do the same thing with the other object, in this case in a yellow, in a yellow color. And now we uh, have the option of duplicating the game objects. So if you choose this option here, you will be able to duplicate the game object and put it on top of another one as many times as you wish. So this is how um, the, the instantiation of different objects can be done by uh, duplicating the game objects. The last thing we can do is delete the game object with the delete button. Finally, the thing that remains to explain is that if you go to the save button you are able to save the um, current environment 
So for example, if I delete this object, I delete this object and I delete this object here and I clean my scene completely, I can go ahead and say load and the scene will load as it was at the beginning. The last thing you have to do or you can do is to expand the limits of your ground by getting to the limits of the of the environment and your you can push the limits to whatever you want. So this is all regarding how the interaction works. I hope you like this package. I hope you consider downloading it and supporting our our work. Thank you very much for watching this video.